Welcome friends, we are back to our quest cape diaries, hoping to get some more quest points today. We have completed 16 out of 158, which is pretty good, pretty good. I figured I would venture into this area of the map. We're going to start with, um, I think it's Druidic Ritual. Someone mentioned that they really enjoyed the long form RuneScape content, so I'm glad to provide. I hope it, you know, is cozy for you. Hello there. What brings you to our holy monument? Uh, I'm in search of a quest. Hmm, I think I may have a worthwhile quest for you, actually. I don't know if you are familiar with the stone circle south of Varrock or not, but yes, I am very familiar. <laughs> that used to be our stone circle. Unfortunately, many, many years ago, dark wizards cast a wicked spell upon it so that they could corrupt its power for their own evil ends. When they cursed the rocks for their rituals, they made them useless to us and our magics. We require a brave adventurer to go on a quest for us to help purify the circle of Varrock. Sure, I'll do that for you. Excellent, go to the village south of this place and speak to my fellow druid, Sanfu, who is working on the purification ritual. He knows what is required to complete it. Will do. No, you're not Sanfu. But I'm assuming he's somewhere in here with the druids. Is he in here? Haha. -ha. What can I do for you, youngin? I've been sent to assist you with the ritual to purify the Varakian Stone Circle. Well, what I'm struggling with right now is the meats needed for the potion to honor Guthix. I need the raw meat of four different animals for it, but not just any old meats will do. Each meat has to be dipped individually into the cauldron of thunder for it to work correctly. Uh, where can I find the cauldron? It is located somewhere in the mysterious underground halls, which are located somewhere in the woods just south of here. They are too dangerous for me to go myself, however. Raw bear meat, raw chicken, raw rat, and raw beef. All right, well, is there a bank nearby? Hmm, <laughs> Catherby. Okay. Oh, but that means I have to go all the way around Wolf Mountain. <sighs> well, I suppose. Well, is there one in Berthorp? Oh, I guess I could go up into Berthorp, access my bank there. Or is it just faster to go to Falador? Go to Falador, get some weapons so we can go get some meat. Mm, I think we should go towards Varrock anyway for all the meat. <laughs> what goals have you been working on lately? Is anyone else going for the quest cape? I know it's a. I know it's going to be a long journey. <laughs> for the quest cape. I'm trying to decide what else I want to work on while I'm doing these quests. I definitely at some point, not sure if it'll be this session, but I need to get access to the trees. The spirit trees, I think, just for easier teleportation. I spoke about this in my last video, but I definitely need to work on my magic so I can teleport that way. <laughs> Bears are south, chickens are south, cows are south. What is this? Oh, is this the Halloween event? Oh wait, what? Yeah, definitely is. The costume child. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Do you have any spare costumes? If you're going trick-or-treating, first you'll need a treat cauldron to put your treats in. There you go, we found these by the Great Cauldron and they look just like it, even as it fills up. Spooky, thanks. We can give you any past spooky things you don't already have. Wait, can I take all of them? <gasps> yes, I will be taking everything, thank you. Now I have costumes. I'm gonna wear one right now. Let's see. Eek. What's eek? I'm holding eek. Talk to eek. Hey, are you scared of spiders? No, I'm not scared of spiders. Not even a bit? I bet I can make you scared of spiders. Boo, rar! I'm a scary spider. Next time you go to sleep, I'm going to crawl on your face and eat your eyeballs. <laughs> I'm still not scared. <laughs> oh wow, even I was scared of me when I said that. <laughs> you're so brave, I bet you're not scared of anything. Aw, eek. What a cutie. <laughs> nah, nah, not the clown suit. Yes, this is it. Okay, I got distracted, but we were going back to quests. 
How cute! Loving the decorations. This is the circle they're talking about. Evil wizards. Level 19, easy peasy. Yippee! <laughs> but yeah, I, I remember when I was really young and I was playing RuneScape, uh, I was really into the events and I did log in to play the holiday events. Christmas morning, logging in and everybody was on. <laughs> I'm glad I was part of that part of history for just a little bit. <laughs> I wish I had stuck with it, but here we are, we're playing it now. Rats, bear, chicken, and what else? Oh, cow, got it. How is everyone's Halloween, by the way, if you celebrate? Mine was all right, there just, there weren't that many kids, which was disappointing because when I was younger, I just remember Halloween was so big. I mean, it could have been a different experience because I lived in a really big neighborhood, and so when it was Halloween night, like, the streets were just filled with trick-or-treaters, just, like, group after group, and, you know, you would just... the doorbells would be non-stop. But this year, we got, um, like, 12 or 13 trick-or-treaters overall, and I don't, it was just, like, sad. <laughs> I think, you know, after the pandemic and just the change of generations. People just aren't really into trick-or-treating anymore. Halloween's still my favorite holiday though. I just, I love the vibes, the spooky vibes. We decorated last minute, but we got a really good discount on Halloween decorations at Michael's. So score, we saved like $160 that we would have spent. Yeah, I don't know. I really enjoy Halloween. It's a shame that a lot of kids just aren't really either growing up with their parents, really, you know, celebrating it, or they're just not into it these days. Some might be like, oh, well, it was cold and dark. Like, it's like that every year, you know? It's October. <laughs> All right, so we got raw bear meat, raw rat meat, raw beef, and raw chicken. We are good to go. And we got eek, the most important part. All right, so we're going back to Taverly. <sighs> Narf. <laughs> All right, so here's a question. If you could create a character, an NPC for RuneScape, what would the character look like? What would their purpose be? Like, do they have a quest? And what would their name be? And for me, I don't know, I keep thinking about those lizard men and I really like them. I like reptiles in general, so like the lizard men are pretty cool. So maybe some reptilian kind of character that's like tough on the outside, sweet on the inside type deal. And their quest would be something like, uh, I need you to go like defeat this thing. And you're like, okay, just like a typical run of the mill, like defeat something. But it, it ends up like that something is holding that character's pet hostage and they just want their like their pet cat back or something. You, you like hitting things? You want to play a game of pinball, Cowboy Frogo? Yes, pinball is fun. <laughs> you poke 10 flashing pillars, right? You not poke other pillars, right? Okay, you go play now. Flashing. So that means flashing? Yes. Three. I like these mushroom things. 10. Am I done? So I'm free to go now, right? Here, get going. We get break now. Okay, uh, have a nice break. <laughs> Rubies. Cool beans. Okay, what am I doing right now? There's a dungeon or a cave or something. Dungeon south of Taverly. Am I in Taverly right now? <laughs> the funny thing is, I just like never really explored any of this part of runescape because when i was younger i was a free-to-play person so membership is crazy i'm guessing it's that yeah okay i got all the fish i need i will be fine man fashionscape not on point when i need to wear armor do you or do you not participate in fashionscape is that even a thing participate what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm finding a cauldron, right. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to walk around. I'll be fine. Uh, auto retaliate is off. <laughs> no. 
said it. Let me in. Oh, what? Let me in. Do I have to kill these? I was not prepared for that. <gasps> Wait, I got through. Did I not have to actually kill them? All right, cool, because I didn't want to anyway. Oh my gosh, it's more eeks. Ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. <laughs> Beef. Bear meat. Rat meat. Chicken. Nice. So now do I just return to Sandview? Ah. <laughs> Bye. I know we have unfinished business, but I don't care. These are cool blue dragons. This is a watcher reminder. Drink your water. Oh, Sanfu. Did you bring me the required ingredients for the potion? Yes, I have all four now. Well, hand them over then, lass. Uh, you could ask nicely. <laughs> Thank you so much, adventurer. These meats will allow our potion to honor Guthix to be completed and bring one step closer to reclaiming our stone circle. Now go and talk to that guy and he will introduce you to the wonderful world of Herblore and potion making. Oh, I didn't realize that this quest was introducing me to Herblore. When I was younger and I played RuneScape, the only lore that I really ever learned was from those what were they called? Those YouTube videos where people would basically roleplay and... What? What were they? Hold on. I need to figure this out. Oh my god. RuneScape Gods Exposed. Yeah, the Tanoob Show guy made Machinima videos and that's that's how I learned about Guthix and Ceridomen and all of them. And there is one episode I pretty sure where the guy's like, do you want to pet my spider? His name is Zimbabwe. <laughs> and that's just like a core memory for me. And unfortunately they did not continue the series, which was a bummer. At the end of this playthrough, we will watch an episode together. Ah oh man, RuneScape Gauze exposed. Hello there. I have word from Sanfew that you have been very helpful in assisting him with his preparations for the purification ritual. As promised, I will now teach you the ancient arts of herb lore. Herb lore is the skill of working with herbs and other ingredients to make useful potions and poison. First, you will need a vial which can be found or made with a crafting skill. Then, you must gather the herbs needed to make the potion you want. You must fill your vial with water and add the ingredients you need. There are normally two ingredients to each type of potion. Bear in mind you must first clean each herb before you can use it. You may also have to grind some ingredients before you can use them. You will need a pestle and mortar in order to do this. Herbs can be found on the ground and are also dropped by some monsters when you kill them. Let's try an example attack potion. The first ingredient is Guam Leaf, the next is Eye of Newt. Mix these in your water-filled vial and you'll produce an attack potion. Drink this potion to increase your attack level. Different potions also require different herb lore levels where you can make them. Yay! <laughs> Four quest points, access to the herb lore skill. Cool. We are level three in herb lore. Strength potion, all that jazz. Um, we're doing death plateau next, which is in birth or this one. Got it. Okay, looking at the things I need for this quest, I need 60 coins, 10 unnoted bread, 10 unnoted cooked trout, and iron bar. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get those before I even start. <laughs> Barbarian Village is a good place to get trout. Ooh, another thing. Another core memory would be the <laughs> RuneScape music videos. Those were so good. They slayed every single time I hear Simple Plans, I'm Just a Kid. I think of that RuneScape music video. I just think about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll ever forget that just ingrained in my mind. <laughs> if you watch RuneScape videos, comment your favorite RuneScape video below. I wish people still made RuneScape machinima and music videos. Man, what a time. People were so creative. Oh man, do I even have feathers for fly fishing? <gasps> of course I don't. Of course I don't have feathers. Why would I have feathers? Ooh, I have 14 trout in here. Please do not judge my unorganized bank. All right. 
I did not mean to eat that. Jeez. I can't cook trout. What? Why can't I cook trout? Oh, are these are already cooked. Dingle head, you dingle dongle. Yeah, they're already cooked. They're not raw. I am silly. Okay, well, we have cooked trout. <laughs> uh, I'm a little tired. My brain not worky. Okay, now I need 10 pieces of bread. Can I just buy bread somewhere? <sighs> well, I can get it in our dome or I can make it myself. So we're gonna have to make it ourselves. Loving the decorations. Very cute. Oh, I guess since we're bronze man, we could have just bought it at the Grand Exchange. <laughs> Hoo ha ha ha. But what fun is that? Can I do multiple at the same time? <gasps> Wait, I only have one pot. Anyway, we'll make one bread for funsies and then we'll buy the rest of the Grand Exchange. I think the plugin also is that, you know, since I didn't have the plugin downloaded, when I was first doing everything, it might not even have registered that I have owned bread. So, whatever. What's that guy doing just standing in the corner? Is there anything over there? Oh, there's multiple people over there. Why? Is there a drop? Okay. Mm -hmm. Please do not burn my bread. Yippee! What? That was one of the achievement diary tasks? To make bread and lumbridge? Okay. I guess I never did do that. I am interested to see what the interface looks like when you try to buy things off the Grand Exchange with the Bronze Man account thing. Oh boy, our first time at the Grand Exchange on this account. There's like barely anybody here. <laughs> Grats. Hey, right, how much is bread going for these days? Oh, okay, I see. So it's just grayed out when you haven't collected it yet. I want... <gasps> 169 for one bread? That's rude. People might not even be selling bread, honestly. <laughs> uh, am I really dropping 1.5k just to get bread and not make it myself? Yes. But no one's probably... Ugh, man, I might have to make it myself. Or I can buy flour. No. Oh my gosh, man. If I could get into the cooking guild, I can make bread no problem. Dr. Death423. Cool. Cool username. This is pain. This is actual pain. <laughs> is there a closer flour mill to- or am I just being silly? Okay, so there's a windmill in Lumbridge, Ardone, the Cook's Guild, Harmony Island, Zenaris. South of Hosidius Town Square and Gwyneth. How high of a cooking level do you have to be to get into that? You need at least 32 cooking to enter the Cook's Guild. That's pretty achievable, actually. I should aim for that. Also, please do not make fun of me for all of the buckets that I have. I, for some reason, I did not think about just using the same bucket over and over again. Um, but you know what? What if I need a lot of buckets, okay? What if I need it? This is what being a RuneScape noob is all about. Just... <laughs> making silly mistakes like this. Man, I'm really going all over the place for this quest, huh? Oh, I didn't notice the bats. Oh, well, now this makes my production a little faster anyway. All right, let's cook some bread and hopefully not burn any. Oh wait, I'm not even gonna have enough space in my inventory. <laughs> well, at least we have a lot of bread now. What? I didn't know you could fail at refining an ore. <sighs> Why is my ore too impure? What? Huh? Huh? Am I missing something? Am I really that tired? Okay, hold on. It's just regular iron ore, right? 
Oh dang, I didn't realize there was a 50% chance that it will be too impure. That's a high chance. Wearing a ring of forging or casting superheat item would give a 100% success rate. Well, I don't have that, so let's hope that these will yield at least one iron bar. I just need one. I just need one. <laughs> Please. Have mercy, smelting gods. Please. <gasps> yes! Ha 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 Two! We got two! Alright, we finally are ready for this dang quest. I have an extra of each and a little extra money in case, but now we can finally do it. That took a really long time. Alright, we are entering the Burthorpe area. Hmm. Cool, cool. We're training. What are we training for? Hello! <laughs> Hello, citizen. How can I help? Do you have any quests for me? I don't know if you can help us. The trolls have taken up camp on Death Plateau. They are using it to launch raids at night on the village. We have tried to attack the camp, but the main path is heavily guarded. Perhaps there is a way you can sneak up at night? If there is another way, I do not know of it. Do you know of such a path? Yes. <laughs> no, but perhaps I could try and find one? Citizen, you would be well rewarded. If you go up to Death Plateau, be very careful as the trolls will attack you on sight. I'll be careful. One other thing. What's that? All of our equipment is kept in the castle on the hill. The stupid guard that was on duty last night lost a combination to the lock. I told the prince that the Imperial Guard should have been in charge of security. No problem, what does the combination look like? The equipment room is unlocked when the stone balls are placed in the correct order on the stone mechanism outside it. The right order is written on a piece of paper the guard had. A stone what? <laughs> well, citizen, the prince is fond of puzzles. Why we couldn't just have a key is beyond me. I'll get on it right away. Cool looking castle. You are not high enough level to enter the guild. Oh, this is a guild? You need to have a combined attack and strength level at least 130. Alright. I guess this is the castle. <laughs> All right, I'm assuming that's the mechanism he was talking about. Do you know of another way up Death Plateau? No, sorry, I wouldn't want to go northeast from here. It's very rocky and barren. I'm looking for the guard that was on last night. There was only one guard on last night. Harold, he's a nice lad, if a little dim. <laughs> Do you know where he is staying? Harold is staying at the Toad and Chicken. Thanks. That's a good name for a bar. Harold! You knock on the door. Come in! What's up, Harold? Hello there. Hi. You're the guard that was on duty last night? Yeah. Denolt said that you lost a combination to the equipment room? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, he isn't gonna talk about it. <laughs> They're toad and chicken. That doesn't look like a toad at all. I found Harold, but he won't talk to me. Hmm, Harold has gotten in trouble a few times over his drinking and gambling. Perhaps he'd open up after I drink. Thanks, I'll try that. Can I take this? Am I gonna get yelled at? No. Alright, Harold, I got you a drink. <gasps> Don't drink it! <sighs> Well, looks like I like drinking and gambling, too. Did it spawn another one? No. Wow. Wow. I guess I'll just buy one. Two coins. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> this time, do not drink it. Right click. Use. Hello there. What? Can I buy you a drink? Now you're talking an Asgarnian ale, please. You give him the ale. Ugh, that hit the spot. Where were you when you last had the combination? I honestly don't know. I've looked everywhere. I've searched the castle and my room. Have you tried looking between here and the castle? Yeah, I tried that. I need another beer. Ugh. How many beers are you gonna need? Take it. What else can I buy here? Wizard's Mind Bomb. <laughs> and a Dwarven Stout. That's fun. Would you like to gamble? 
Good, good. I have some dice. How much do you want to offer? Um, I don't know, like 200? Okay, I'll roll first. Don't forget that once I start my roll, you can't back out of the bet. If you do, you'll lose your stake. Alright, 10. <gasps> no! 5. Damn. Okay. Should I get him more drunk? Can I buy you a drink? What? I really fancy one of those blueberry specials. I never get over to the gnome stronghold, so I haven't had one for ages. I'll go and get you one. What? How far away is that? No. I looked at the guide because I don't want to walk all the way over there. So I can keep gambling and potentially win. It's just going to be a little harder, but we're going to try. All right, let's see. Let's try 110. Please roll low. Two, four. Nice. This might be it. Dang. Again, again. I won. I think we have to beat him a few times to get the IOU. It's really annoying. Nice. Oh dear, I seem to have run out of money. Here's what I have. Harold has given you some of your winnings. I'll write you out an IOU for the rest. Harold has given you an IOU scribbled on some paper. Hooray, read it. The IOU says that Harold owes me some money. Wait just a minute. The IOU is written on the back of the combination. The stupid guard had it in his pocket the whole time. Hooray. Well, that was annoying. Bye, Harold. I don't ever want to gamble with you again. Red is north of blue. Yellow is south of purple. Green is north of purple. Blue is west of yellow. Purple is east of red. This is the orientation. So, let me write on paper before scrambling everything around. I think that would make the most sense. Got it. Done. The equipment room door has unlocked. Yeah! I'm so smart. Do I talk to this guy? Hi. Thank goodness you opened that door. I've been trapped here since last night. <laughs> no problem. I guess this was not the right room I was looking for. What am I looking for? Well, I guess that's the rest of that. Let's go this way to find a new way to Death Plateau. Into the cave. Do you know of another way up Death Plateau? Why would I want to go up there? I just want to be left in peace. It used to be just humans trampling past my cave and making a racket. Now there's those blasted trolls too. Not only do they stink and argue with each other loudly, but they are always fighting the humans. I just want to be left in peace. Uh, I might be able to help you. How? I'm trying to help the, um, humans to reclaim back Death Plateau. If you help me, then at least you'd be rid of the trolls. Hmm. Let me see. I've only been up Death Plateau once to complain about the noise, but those pesky trolls started throwing rocks at me. Before the trolls came, there used to be a Nettleson? Nettleson? Nettlesome? Before the trolls came, there used to be a nettlesome Sherpa that took humans exploring or something equally stupid. Perhaps he'd know another way. Where does the Sherpa live? I don't know, but it can't be far as he used to be around all the time. I'm guessing it's this way. As the trolls are that way. He's got chickens and a goat. No milk today, thank you. I'm not the milkman, I need your help. Oh, okay, you better come in then. <laughs> Joke's on you, I am the milkman. Hello, how can I help? I'm helping the Imperial Guard. They need to find a way to sneak up Death Plateau to destroy the troll camp. Saba seemed to think you'd be able to help. Uh, Saba's still alive and kicking? <laughs> yeah, he seemed very bitter. That's Saba, all right. I do know of a secret way up to Death Plateau. The Imperial Guard would be able to use it at night and not be seen until it was too late. I'd be happy to show you it if you do something for me first. Name it. 
I don't get into town much and I'm getting low on supplies. I need 10 loaves of bread and 10 cooked trout. That should see me through the winter. Anything else? Yes, my climbing boots need to have new spikes, so can you take them to Dunstan in Berthorpe? He always puts my spikes on for me. Okay, I'll get those for you. Thanks, traveler. He gives you his climbing boots. Well, when he has, bring the boots to me with 10 loaves. <sighs> Fine, okay, I'll do the boots first. Can't just take the loaves of bread and the trout now so I can free up my inventory? No, you have to have them all at the same time. Oh no, a fallen soldier. Are you okay? <laughs> uh... I'll be okay. The trolls only leave the plateau at nightfall. The guys are bringing a stretcher shortly. As long as you're sure. It's my own fault, really. I was having a walk and wandered past a danger sign. The trolls throw rocks down at anyone who goes up the path. Don't go up there. Okay, thanks for the warning. Oh, alright, well... As long as you're okay, buddy. Tenzing has asked me to bring you his climbing boots. He needs to have spikes put on them. He does, does he? Well, I don't do it till he pays for the last set I made for him. This is really important. How so? Well, I need the trooper to show me a secret way up Death Plateau so that the Imperial Guard can destroy the troll camp. He won't help me till I've got the spikes. Hmm, that's different. Tell you what, I'll make them for you on one condition. <sighs> What's the condition? My son has just turned 16, and I'd very much like him to join the Imperial Guard. The Prince's elite forces are invite only, so it's very unlikely he'll get in. If you can arrange that, you have a deal. That won't be a problem, as I'm helping out the Imperial Guard. Excellent, you'll need to bring an iron bar for the spikes. <sighs> My son. My son. My son. 16, my son. Have you found another way up Death Plateau? Yes, there is another way. We are saved. There's one thing. And what is that, citizen? There's a Sherpa who will only show me the secret way if I first get some spikes for his climbing boots. The smith will only do this for me if you sign up his son for the Imperial Guard. <laughs> this is very irregular. <laughs> will you not do this? I have heard of Dunstan's son. He is a very promising young man. For the sake of your mission, we can make an exception. Hooray! This certificate proves that we have accepted Dunstan's son for training in the Imperial Guard. Thank you, I shall be back shortly. I wonder what these guys are talking about. What's up, y'all? What? What do you want? I knew it were you, matey. Here, have some of the good stuff. Oh no, I didn't have any space in my inventory for the good stuff. Oh, it's on the ground. Mmm, kebab. Alright, dunst a dunst. Have you managed to get my son signed up for the Imperial Guard? Yes. Thank you. Now to keep my end of the bargain. Give me the boots and an arm bar and I'll put on the spikes. Spike boots. Thank you. No problem. Alright, Sherpa man. These are some nice looking evergreen trees. Imagine if I went and did this quest and then realized I need to get bread and trout. That'd be a lot of running back and forth. Take your things. Thank you very much. I am now ready for the winter. You said you would show me the secret way to Death Plateau? Yes, of course. I drew up a map in case I ever needed to use it again. I don't think the trolls have found the secret way yet. If they had, I would have been attacked by now. Okay, thanks, but I think I'd better check the path. I don't want to send the Imperial Guards to their death. You are wise for one so young. Yeah, we are pretty wise. Doo -dee -dee -doo. What's up, mountain goat? Death Plateau is not named that for a joke. If you continue down this path, you will be assailed by trolls. If you are not prepared for that, you should turn back now. Well, I'm just trying to check it out. I should go and tell Denuth I've completed my mission. Oh, all the way up here? You can see that there are no trolls on the secret path. Okay, well, I guess I did it. <laughs> I thought there would be like a pop-up or something. This quest is annoying. <laughs> Have you found the secret way? Yes, there is a path that runs from a Sherpa's hut around the back of Death Plateau. The trolls haven't found it yet. The Sherpa made a map I can give you. You given them a map. Excellent, this looks perfect. They will never see us coming. Have you managed to open the equipment room? Yes, the door is open and here's a combination. Well done, citizen. We will reward you by training you in attack. I shall present you with some steel fighting claws. In addition, I shall show you the knowledge of creating the fighting claws for yourself. You are now an honorary member of the Imperial Guard. Yeah! 
3,000 attack, steel claws, ability to make steel claws. Nice. Woo. <sighs> well, that quest is over. I had planned to do like six quests this session, but we might just do one more just because all of that running around took a long time. <laughs> Our next quest is the murder mystery, which we shall go to. Oh, okay, over here. Oh no, that means we have to go around White Wolf Mountain. Uh, well, I guess another goal is to do the, um, is it the hero's quest? Thank goodness for the wiki. White Wolf Tunnel is a shortcut beneath White Wolf Mountain, home to a small group of dwarves. It only becomes accessible after the player helps the guards win the local fishing contest. Oh, I can do that. Maybe we'll do that next. Just so we can have access underneath the mountain. Change of plan. We're doing the fishing contest. Hello? Hmm, what do you want? Do you have a brother? <laughs> What if I do? It's no business of yours. I was wondering what was down those stairs. You can't go down there. <laughs> I didn't want to anyway. Good, because you can't. Because I don't want to. Because you can't, so that's fine. Yes, it is. Yes, fine. Absolutely. Well then. I was just stopping to say hello. Hello then. Oh, I guess we just try to go down the stairs. Wait there, halt. You can't come in here. Why not? This is the home of the Mountain Dwarves. How would you like it if I wanted to take a shortcut through your home? If you were my friend, I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> yes, but I don't even know you. Well, let's be friends. I don't make friends easily. People need to earn my trust first. Start the quest. How am I meant to do that? My, we are the persistent one, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's a certain gold artifact we're after. We dwarves are big fans of gold. This artifact is the first prize at the he Heminster Fishing Con Competition. Fortunately, we have acquired a pass to enter that competition. Unfortunately, dwarves don't make good fishermen. Fortunately, I'm all right at fishing. <laughs> okay, I entrust you with our competition pass. Don't forget to take some gold with you for the entrance fee. Yeah. Go to Heminster and do us proud. Leave me alone. Push boulder. What's that for? All right, this actually isn't that bad. There aren't that many creatures this way. Whoa, Ice Giants. 53. They're looking pretty cool. Nice, I didn't really need to worry about that at all. But I do like having the shortcut anyway. What is this? League first board? Leagues? 2022? Hmm. I can hide in a crate. <laughs> you have no reason to do that. The guide's telling me I need this garlic, so I'm getting this garlic. Off we go. Let's win this competition. What are you staying around here for? I'm making sure only those with the competition pass enter the fishing contest. I have one here. Move on through. Talk to Bonzo to enter the competition. <laughs> it's a smelly sewage pipe. You stash the garlic in the pipe. Cool, 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 cool. Now I talk to Bonzo. Roll up, roll up, enter the great Hem Hemenster fishing competition. Only five GP entrance fee. I'll enter the competition, please. Marvelous. Okay, we've got all the fishermen, it's time to roll. Okay, nearly everyone is in their place already. You fish in the spot by the willow tree and the sinister stranger, you fish by the pipes. Sinister stranger? A vampire? Ugh, what is that ghastly smell? I think I will move over here instead. That's right. Hmm, you better go and take the area by the pipes then. Your fishing competition spot is now beside the pipes. I'm stupid, I didn't get the bait. Okay, so I have to go into here to get the red vine worms. Bleh. This is private land. Alrighty. Going in here. Please don't attack me, doggies. 44. Ah. Uh, red vine worms. Nice. Three, just in case. Hmm. How do I get permission to use the fairy rings? 
Okay, well, anyways. Alright, so I believe now we can tell him to enter the competition. And this is when the guy's like, Ew, stinky, smelly garlic, ew! What is that ghastly smell? Okay. Go back. Go back to where you belong. Over there. <laughs> you have unlocked the raw giant carp. Did we win? Did we win? I have this big fish. Is it enough to win? Well, we'll just wait till time is up. You wait. <laughs> a trophy and some scales. Hmm. You hand over your catch. We have a new winner. The heroic looking person who was fishing by the pipes has caught the biggest carp I've seen since Grandpa Jack used to compete. <laughs> you are given the Heminster Fishing Trophy. Yay! Take that, sinister stranger. What's your backstory? Just a vampire that likes to fish, huh? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Vlad. I come from far away, where the sun is not so bright. You're a vampire, aren't you? Just because I can't stand the smell of garlic and I don't like bright sunlight doesn't necessarily mean I'm in vampire. So, you like fishing? <laughs> My doctor told me to take up ein relaxing hobby. Then I am stressed I tend to get ein little thirsty. <laughs> if you get thirsty, you should drink something. I stink I may do that soon. You're a cool guy. Sorry for stinking it up. And now, we go all the way back. <sighs> can we talk to the brother on the other side? Oh, it says I can do it on either side of the mountain. Cool. <gasps> the lads, they're all matching. I like this area. It's nice. A lot of fountains. You're missing out on so much content when you're doing free-to-play. Like, this is... This is nice. I wonder what this guy's thinking about. Just thinking about life. <laughs> thinking about being a wolf. Well, I hope he's having a good day. Hmm. A good farming patch over here. Have you won yet? Yes, I have. Well done, that's brilliant. Do you have the trophy with you? Yep, I have it right here. Oh, it's even more shiny and gold than I thought possible. One quest point. A lot of fishing XP, access to the White Wolf Mountain Tunnel. Yeah! You've done us proud. Thank you, lass. I think we can now trust you enough to let you in. In where? Why, the tunnel, of course. You may now come and go freely, avoiding the wolves and dangers of the cold, high mountain. You could even stop in for a beer or two. Excellent, that will come in most handy. Yay! Let's go, let's go. Let's go and see what the tunnel has in store for us. They have a little bar down here. How cute. What's up, guys? Captain Ninto. Hello, what are you doing here so far from home? I'm enjoying the local hospitality. Hee hee hee. Looks like you've enjoyed more than your fair share of hospitality. Teehee, I probably shouldn't have another drink right now, but this dwarven beer is kind of morsh after the fifth pint. I'd go easy on the dwarven stout if I were you. I used to be a touch pilot, you know, I real hero. But I lost my bottle. So I now find shortest in the bottle. <laughs> what happened? Did you have a glider crash or get attacked by huge flying birds or something? Nah, I really wish I was scared of heights. <laughs> uh, I can see that would be a problem. You should keep an eye on your drinking though. I'll try, both eyes. All right, well, I, ho I hope you get over your drinking problem, dude. Aloy. Oh, hello. Hello, what's in those boxes? Crossbows, are you interested? Maybe, are they any good? Are they any good? They're dwarven engineering at its best. How do I make one for myself? Well, firstly, you'll need to chop yourself some wood, use a knife on the wood, blah, blah, blah. Talk to an old dwarf. <laughs> He's little. <laughs> Smaller than these guys. Hello there, youngster. Who are you calling youngster? Why you? Unless you have seen the small village of Falador grow into a heaving city like I have, of course. Uh, no. Well then, enjoy your stay in our mountain home. Well, I, um, set out for six quests today, and we got three done. But so it goes. That's, that's the RuneScape way of life. 
Ah uh, yes, so goals that I figured out I want to get to. I want to get in, well, I guess getting into the cooking guild isn't urgent, but I, that would be cool. I don't think I ever got into a guild at all when I was younger. Can you get into guilds if you're free to play? Yeah, right? Anyways, I think getting into a guild is a nice achievable goal that we can do. Leveling up magic when I have time. Uh, for teleport's sake, we unlocked Herblore, so we can now do Herblore if we want. I would like to do the Grand Tree sometime soon so we can get Gnome Glider access, so we can go to the, the Gnome Stronghold faster. Uh, and that concludes our video today. Oh, but first, I did want to look at something. So I did want to watch a little bit of RuneScape Gods Exposed with you guys, but I also don't want to be stealing any sort of content, so we'll watch like 10, 15 seconds. Man. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Yeah, dude, go. Okay, okay. Um, hey guys. Um, sure most of you know who I am already. His name is Sarah Dolman. Thank you, Guthix. I am Sarah Dolman, and I'm here with Zamorok and Guthix. What's up? Recently, we have run into a bit of financial trouble. Yeah, one of us did something really, really stupid. I'm not gonna say who, but his name rhymes with Guthix. <laughs> oh, wait. Damn it. N nice bear. Somebody help me! I'm Guthix. Guthix, please get me out of here. I'm too awesome to die. Okay, I'm gonna save you. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, okay. That was almost a minute. But I think it's okay. But my favorite part why we have this show with our awesome sponsor, the General Store. Hello. Do you own a bucket? With a bucket, you could put lots of stuff into it. Possibly liquids, or maybe even solids. Look no further, the general store sells buckets. Buy one today. At the general store. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this throwback if you did watch this show in the past. Um, <laughs> times have changed. Times have really changed. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a wonderful rest of your day. You stay hydrated, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.